Hello my dear students, let us have a brief discussion on how to solve numerical problems in objective papers without using calculator in electronics and telecommunication branch and electrical branch. Okay. So as we all know that in IES exam and also in some competitive exams, calculators are not allowed. So in that situation, how to solve numerical problems without using calculator. The students who are preparing for IES examination and also for competitive exams, this presentation is very useful how to solve numerical problems without using calculator. We are providing some tips in this presentation. Okay. So now see the first slide. In this we are presenting, this slide is representing the logarithm values. Okay. In control system subject, we are going to come across this logarithm values. Okay. So just remember the three values 20 log 2 is equals to 6 dB, 20 log 3 is equals to 9.54 dB, 20 log 10 is equals to 20 dB. Along these three values and remember the given formulas log of a power n equals to n log a, log of a b is equals to log a plus log b, log of a by b is equals to log a minus log b. Those three values along with this formulas, we can calculate the value of the logarithm. Okay. So let us see the first example, how to calculate the value of 20 log 8. We know that 8 can be written as 2 cube. So as we use the first formula log of a power n is n log a, then 3 into 20 log 2, 3 into 20 log 2 we can write, 3 into 20 log 2, 20 log 2 value is 6 dB. So 20 log 2 value is 6 dB, 3 into 16 is 8 dB, okay. so 18 dB. Next, see the second example 20 log 40, log 40 can be written as log 4 into 10. So log of AB can be written as log A plus log B. So 20 log 4 plus 20 log 10, again 4 can be written as 2 square. So 2 into 20 log 2 plus 20 log 10. Okay, log 2 value is we know that 6, 2 into 6 plus 20 into 1. So finally we are going to get 32 dB. In the similar way third example, 20 log 50, 50 can be written as 100 by 2. Log of A by B is log A minus log B. So we can write 20 log 50 as 20 log 100 minus 20 log 2. 100 can be written as 10 square. So if we substitute that, so finally 2 into 20 log 10 minus 20 log 2. So that value is 40 minus 6, 34 dB. Next is the fourth example, 20 log 60. 60 can be written as 2 into 3 into 10. Log of ABC can be written as log A plus log B plus log C. So 20 log 2 plus 20 log 3 plus 20 log 10. So 6 plus 9.54 plus 20, if I add the three values, final result is 35.54 dB. Next, these are, now we are presenting some previous IES questions. Okay. This is the question in control system subject. In this subject, they are asking the gain of the given system, so at omega is equals to 0 0.1 radians per second. So how to solve this problem without using calculator? Okay, we are presenting now, let us see. So the gain of the system is mod g of h of omega is equals to 100 into square root of omega square plus 15 square by omega into square root of omega square plus 4 square into omega square plus 10 square. Now, we are calculating the gain at 0 0.1 radians per second, substitute that value in place of omega. So let us see that one, 0 0.1 square is very small value as compared to 15 square. In the similar way, 0 0.1 square is small value compared to 4 square. 0 0.1 square is very small compared to 10 square. Okay. Neglect 0 0.1 square in all the square roots. Then if you remove that 0 0.1 square, then the next value is 100 into square root of 15 square can be written as 15 divided by 0.1 into square root of 4 square is 4, square root of 10 square is 10. So if you simplify that, it is simple simplification, 100 into 15 is 1500 divided by 4 into 10 into 0.1, that is 4. Now 1500 by 4, now we have to calculate the decibel value of that 1500 by 4, apply 20 log to that value, 20 log of 1500 by 4. So 1500 by 4 can be written as 300, 3000 by 8, 
3000 can be written as 3 into 1000. So, 3 into 1000 by 8, if you apply logarithm to that, then we can write that as 20 log 3 plus 20 log 1000 minus 20 log 8. 1000 can be written as 10 cube and 8 can be written as 2 cube. So, the final value is 20 log 3 plus 3 into 20 log 10 minus 3 into 20 log 2. We know the standard values 20 log 10 and 20 log 2. Let us substitute that. So, 9.54 plus 60 minus 18. The answer is 51.4 dB. Almost all it is equals to 52 dB. So, it is if you remember the whatever that we presented in first slide that the standard values and formulas, it is very easy to calculate this type of problems in IES and also in competitive exams. Let us see the next one. It is a problem in analog electronic subject. What is the problem is? So, calculate the common mode rejection ratio in decibels. So, the given common mode gain and also differential gain. As we know the formula, common mode rejection ratio is defined as it is a ratio of differential gain to the common mode gain. So, differential gain can be is given as 1 lakh and differential uh, common mode gain is 25. So, 1 lakh by 25 is 4000. 4000 can be written as 4 into 10 cube. So, again log of AB can be written as log A plus log B, 20 log 4 plus 20 log 10 cube. So, again log 4 is 2 square. So, log of A power n is n log A, 2 into 20 log 2 plus 3 into 20 log 10. So, as we know the values 20 log 2 and 20 log 10 substitute finally, 2 into 6 12 and 3 into 20 60. So, 16 plus 60 plus 12 is 72 dB. Next. Okay. So, the previous one is logarithms. Now, we are going to present some useful fractions which are useful in so many subjects in electronics and telecommunication branch and also electrical branch also. Let us see the first fraction 1 by root 2. To calculate the RMS value, we are generally using divided by root 2. Okay. Next, divided by root 3, phase voltage and line voltage. Okay. Next, divided by pi to calculate the average value of the, to calculate the average value. Next, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. In EMT subject, we come across this type of formulas. Okay. Just remember these standard values which are very useful in electrical and electronics branches. Okay. Along with the, let us see one example. Okay. Suppose if the line voltage given as 400 volts, how to calculate the phase voltage? Line voltage by root 3, that is 400 by root 3. Root 3 value, 1 by root 3 value is 0.58. 400 into 0.58, 58 percentage of 400, that is nothing but 231. Okay. Next, line voltage is suppose 440 volts, how to calculate the phase voltage? 440 by root 3, but we know the value of 1 by root 3, 440 into 0.58, 58 percentage of 440, that is 254 volts. Line voltage is 230 volts, 230 by 1 by root 3, 58 percentage of 230, that is 132.8 volts. Okay, these are the 400, 440, 230 volts generally, regularly come across in electrical subjects. Okay, these are the standard voltages. Okay. Next, it is one previous IES question. In this question, they are asking the RMS currents of the thyristor and source, RMS current. Okay. So, let us see the solution. Load current is equals to power by voltage. What is the power given? Power given as 50 kilowatts and voltage given as 420 volts. Okay. So, the load current I naught is equals to 50 kilowatts by voltage 420. 50 into 10 cube by 420 it is a very simple simplification. You can solve this. Okay. So, you are going to get 119. Next, RMS value of the thyristor current okay, is equals to the standard formula square root of 1 by root 3 into I naught. 1 by root 3 value just now we have seen 0 0.58 into 119, 58 percentage of 119, it is almost equal to 69. Next, RMS value of the source current is square root of 2 by 3 into I naught. Square root of 2 by 3 value is 0 0.8 into 119. 80 percentage of the 119 is 95.2 amperes. Okay. Next, this is how to calculate sine of 75 or sine 90, sine 220. So, sine of some value how to calculate. Okay. Sine or cos, 
cosine, tan, whatever may be the trigonometric function. Okay, these are these sine, cosine, tan, these are values come across in all our electronics and electrical subjects. Okay. Let us see first sin 75. 75 can be written as 30 plus 45. Sin of A plus B formula. Sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. Sin 30 value is 0.5. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Just now we given it is a standard value. Remember that 1 by root 2 is 0 0.707. Cos 30 root 3 by 2 0.86. Next sin 45 0 0.707. So, 0.5 into 0.707, 50 percentage of 0.707 is almost 0.35, 86 percentage of 0.707 is 0.6. So, 0.6 plus 0.35 is 0.95. Okay, next, we are going to provide one table which is very useful to calculate the trigonometric function value for any given degree. See, let us see that first quadrant, uh, the code used to this, uh, uh, remember this table is all student take coffee. Okay. Let us see the first letter in the code. First letter is A. A, A is the first quadrant. A means all. Sin, cos, tan, cosec, sec, cot. Okay. The range of degrees from 0 to 90 degrees. Let us see the second quadrant. Yes, sin. S means sin. Okay. Next cosec. Uh, the degree ranging from 90 to 180 degrees. Third one is tan. Okay. T, T means tan. Tan, cot the ranging from degrees ranging from 180 to 270 degrees. Next last coordinate is C. C means cos and sec. The degree ranging from 270 degrees to 360 degrees. Okay. Let us see how to use this table to calculate the values. Okay. See the second example cos 120 degrees. 120 degrees means it lies in which quadrant? Second quadrant. In the second quadrant sin and cosec are positive remaining all are negative values. So, in we given the cos 120, cos is not there in second quadrant, so cos is negative. So, first put the negative symbol and 120 can be written as 90 plus 30. Cos of, uh, cos of 90 plus theta is sin theta minus sin 30. Sin 30 we know the value is 1 by 2, so minus 1 by 2. Okay. Next see the example, sin 150, 150 lies in again second quadrant. Okay. So, sin is positive in second quadrant, so positive sin and 150 degrees can be written as 180 minus 30. Sin of 180 minus theta, sin theta. So, sin 30, 1 by 2. Next see the example, tan 225. 225 lies in third quadrant. In the third quadrant, tan is positive. First put the positive sign. Next, 225 can be written as 180 plus 45. Tan of 180 plus theta, tan theta. So, plus tan 45. Tan 45 is 1. Okay. Now, see in electrical and electronic subjects, we are going to come across some approximations. Okay? Suppose if 0.4446 value is given, if we take that value exactly, what happened is calculations are become complex. Instead of that, if we approximate that 0.444 something to 0.5, the calculations are going to simplify. Okay? We are providing one example on this approximation of values. It will clearly explain how to solve these problems. Okay? So, let us see here. In this example, we are asking EMF for phase is. So, the formula used to calculate EMF for phase is synchronous motor is E equals to 4.44 into Kp Kd phi Ft. Let us approximate these values. What is the value of Kp given in the problem? 0.966. Instead of taking 0.966, we can approximate this to 1. Next, KD. KD given as 0.955. We can approximate that value to 1. Next, in the formula itself, 4.44 is there. Instead of taking 4.44, we can approximate that to 4.5. Let us observe in all the approximations, I am approximating it to next higher, okay? next to higher integer. So, let us substitute that value is 4.5 into 1 into 1 into 5 given in the problem as 25, f is 10 power 15 to 10 power minus 3 next into 240. So, if we calculate that values nearly you are going to get 1350 volts, <coughs> 1350 volts. Okay? So, in approximations we approximated it to next higher value. 
facts, but the original answer is less than 1350. So, you see the options, which option is nearly less than 1350 is 1228.81. So, we can say that that is a right option. Okay. So, let us use all these techniques in your IES exam and also in competitive exams. It is going to simplify the calculations and it is going to save your time. Okay. Thank you.